there's no rubbish here. Instead, we have a blue box and we have a white box. And there's no rubbish because in this review we're looking at two models of machines that get rid of rubbish. Both of these are made by Conrad models and the first is the Zola X2. It comes in a standard Conrad blue box. And inside we find an MAN TGS refuse collector, complete with some parts that have to be fitted. The white box is a plain white box. And as you can see, it's also quite small. When we open it up and pull out the insides, we can see why it's a small box. And that's because it's a small machine. It's a Bucher CityCat 5006 sweeper. These are Conrad models, so the assembly process starts by separating the bits from the moulding sprues. And for the MAN we can pre-assemble one of the door mirrors. The mirrors then get fitted by pressing them into holes in the cab body. And the good thing with Conrad models is that the fit is always tight, so they don't tend to drop out. After the mirrors there's roof aerials to fit, and we use a pair of tweezers to help out. The city cat is just the same, only now we can do it much faster. Starting underneath the Zola X2 and the chassis has functional steering, but it's good to see that the transmission is fully modelled, as are the various tanks and other parts. The cab looks smart with aerials and beacon lights on the roof, and at the front we have the smart looking MAN name badge. There's a space for a number plate, but this generic truck doesn't have one. The type numbers on the cab doors and the wheels look smart in black. The body is nicely modelled with graphics and steps at the back. The City Cat is nice and compact with a driven rear axle. And at the front, the various sweeping brushes look good. There's also a vacuum sucker between the brushes. At the front, the brush support is modelled in tough plastic. And the brushes themselves look nice on this model. At the front, there are large, thick windscreen wipers. And there's a beacon light and aerial on the roof. The texturing of the body is very good with a nice shaped roof. And there's a grill formed within the casting on the side. At the back there are painted lights and a large solid mud flap, and that is modelled in plastic. The suction plant is nicely modelled behind the cab, and if we look underneath the body there's a motor, and the body structure is very good. The MAN chassis functionality is really good with a floating rear axle, and the steering has an excellent range of movement. This model has a high metal content, so it rolls along really nice and smoothly. And it's always great to see a truck model that has a very tight steering angle. It would be nice if all truck models had a steering angle like this. The model also features a tilting cab, and it's nice to see one of Conrad's metal engine blocks. The cab closes up with a satisfying clunk. So, imagine that this truck is full of all the rubbish that I'm talking, and we want to empty it out. The back part opens up on stiff hydraulic rams, and if we go inside we can see that the pusher plate is sprung loaded, so that's a bit of unexpected functionality. But let's face it, you've always wanted to drive a little sweeper, and the first thing you see is that both axles can steer. This is a surprisingly heavy little model, and it rolls along when you drive it, but the wheels are not particularly free rolling. However, where it wins is with the steering, so if we just steer the front, we get a nice curve. But if you steer with the back axle as well, you're almost turning up your own backside. Of course, what we really want to do is to sweep, sweep, and more sweep. And the front brush folds out neatly on its arm. And if you like, you can turn the brush. The arm moves along on its assembly so it can sweep to the left or to the right. And the only thing to say about it is that it's a little bit stiff to move it along on its plastic runner. When you're in sweeping mode, you need to open up the two main brushes. And they move out into position, one on each side. Again, when you're full of rubbish, you just need to empty yourself out. And this model has an opening rear door and also a tilting body. These are both very nice municipal type vehicles from Conrad. 
They are very well made with a high metal content and they are pleasantly detailed. But the biggest plus point for both of these models is the excellent functionality. So if it's time to get rid of some rubbish and get these models, they're both very good. Thank you.